Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and um, lately I've been buying a bunch of little solar panels and solar controllers and boost up converters just a bunch of things and I want to actually build a setup two setups um, one is going to be a solar panel powered ground station which has a screen a receiver and all that kind of crazy stuff the other one is a solar panel uh, powered uh, 4s 3 to 4s lipo charger so those are still in progress I'm still just buying a bunch of components seeing the best setup here however I've also been working on making a solar panel powered USB charging interface now what does that mean so let's move these guys out of the way all right so basically here what I've managed to do under around 10 bucks like twelve dollars here you will be able to charge your phone or a GoPro or your turnage evolution or your little 1s lipos that connect via USB basically anything that connects USB like your power bank anything you'd like you can totally charge it with a bit of sunlight so what we're going to be using here and what I found to work best is these two little pieces here it's very simple actually uh, this is a 6 volt photovoltaic uh, solar panel which is rated up to 520 milliamps. Now 520 milliamps is, isn't gonna charge a phone or, you know, it'll rarely charge anything. However, you won't use this by itself. This is where this guy comes in. So this guy here actually takes six to 20 volts. So this is six volts, so that's perfect. And it'll boost up the amperage. It'll first, it'll drop the voltage down to five and it'll boost up the amperage to anywhere between 500 to, uh, in theory, to two amps. I've gotten it to push 1.7 amps and it wasn't really like super perfect conditions, which is very, very good. And uh, this is why I really love this. Like I'm able to even charge my phone anywhere between 400 to 700 milliamps off a little table lamp right there with these two connected together. All right, guys. So this is going to be actually very, very simple. All we need to do is solder two wires to this guy here and as you can see here we have a positive and a negative all we're gonna need to do is just solder two wires right there and then we're gonna grab our solar panel here and just solder the correct polarity and we're done that's it now let's say for example and you'd like to increase the output of this very simple you could just buy another panel and connect them in parallel and then connect it to this guy. This way, if this is pulling 200 milliamps and the other one's pulling 200 milliamps, now you're giving this a total of 400 milliamps, so it could probably push up to 1.5 amps and start charging. So like for example, right now, this light here is giving it, for example, let's just say 200 milliamps and 200 milliamps is being converted into 700 milliamps. So if we gone ahead and added another panel just like this, connected them in parallel, and then connected it to this guy. Now, instead of 200, it's getting 400, and this is gonna be able to double that 700 milliamps, and it'll be putting out around uh, 1.4 amps. So that is very, 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 very good. Very good. So even like this, it works absolutely beautiful. So this is the cheapest, best setup that actually works. Like, like it really works very good. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, some things to take note of here. You really have to be very careful with this and try not to get it super dirty, but just wipe it off after. But the most important thing is don't get it scratched because it'll lose its um, efficiency and, and, and its power output, really. It'll stop being so efficient. So as you can see here, and we don't want to heat these pads up too much, guys. So as you can see here, we have positive and negative. And all we're going to do is just going to run two wires to this guy. So let's go ahead and grab some wires here. All right, so I've gone ahead and connect, uh, cut the wire here. And this is silicone wire. I really love silicone wire. And what's so awesome, because it's such thin gauge, I could just go ahead and remove it with my, just, just adding pressure. And I don't even have any nails, so you can just easily, just a little bit of pressure and pull it off, and you're good to go. So there we go, we have one side ready here. Now as we wait for the soldering iron to heat up, we'll just might as well do the other side. And there we go, perfect. And last side here. So there's no weird trickery here. You know, positive is going to go to positive, negative is going to go to negative, and it's just going to be very simple. So let's go ahead. Uh, this this will come without any uh, solder, so you're going to have to add your solder. And it does come copper plated, so you don't have to be worried about anything. So I'm just going to quickly touch it, and then there we go. Just add a little bit. It didn't really need much, 
there we go just to freshen up the joints here and now let's go ahead and grab our wires here and let's just prepare the wires okay there we go we got one wire and we got a second wire okay so where's ground here's ground and I'm gonna have it sticking out this way so there we go beautiful and even better okay <clears throat> now let's go ahead and grab these wires and I do highly recommend you use um, silicone wires here because you know after a while the the whatever if you use regular wires they too tend to just crap out on you and uh, because you know if you don't have it mounted just yet or haven't like 3D designed or 3D printed anything for the uh, controller here. So if it just stays loose and moving back and forth, you will ruin the wires. Next thing you know, you're in the field and you're gonna find the wire is already broken and you possibly don't even have a soldering iron on you or some kind of a portable one and you're basically done for. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add solder to this guy now. And just same process, very easy. Positive and negative here. So the top one is here is positive, as I believe. There we go. And there we go. Alright, so we said this one is positive. So let's go ahead and solder this guy on. Okay, beautiful. And these are a bit too long, but it's okay right now. And there we go. Alright guys, so now we're basically done. All it was is just four soldering areas and just two wires. And we're going to go ahead and test it out with artificial light. Now I know it works, but you know, it depends on how good you set the light on it. But in sunlight, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and grab my phone. And we're going to be setting up this app here that tells us how much we are get using and how much we're charging. So let's go ahead and get the amperage. So in, in good sunlight, you can get around 1.2 amps to 1.7 amps. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. So I'm going to connect them. And obviously, in theory, we should not get any charge until we turn on the table lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and move it under the table lamp here. And let's just turn on the table lamp. Put another one, just give it a little boost. And as you can see, it's measuring and it's charging. So... 610 milliamps here so obviously if we just play around with it and set it up more closer and stuff we should increase and decrease and if i were to put my hand over it right now it should completely disconnect so just like a quick slide through it didn't there we go so it is working and it works beautiful in sunlight. Just put it by your window and it'll just go ahead and eat up all the sunlight and charge anything very good. Uh, like I mentioned, I've gotten it to charge at 1.7 amps, which is absolutely beautiful. Right now, as you can see under artificial light, I have two table lamps on it. Um, it's it's charging. Um, I can't say it's not charging. So you can go ahead and charge whatever you want, basically. Um, you know, GoPro, whatever you want, turn evolution, all that kind of crazy stuff, because those are basically charging right between 700 milliamps to 1.2, uh, 1.2 amps right there. So 1,200 milliamps. So as you can see, we're reaching one amp right there. Oh, look, one, 1.2 amps right there. So it is charging very good. You just have to get, find that sweet spot if you're under artificial light. And, uh, this whole project was a success. And like I mentioned, this is the best board I found by far and so far. And um, I'm sticking to actually go ahead and purchase three more here. So overall, this whole project was an absolute success. And um, yeah, there's going to be more coming like this. I mean, I'll, only if you guys are interested. If you guys are interested, please let me know down in the comment section. If you liked or you didn't like, leave a like or a dislike. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this. And um, yeah, well, that's it, guys. So stay tuned and we'll be doing the upgraded version where we do a complete ground station uh the diy monitor if you guys seen that video we're gonna be installing this is a module for it. we'll probably use two panels 
I'm going to calculate its amp draw and everything and we'll figure it out. And we're also going to be doing a 3S and a 4S LiPo charger. And it should be fun and interesting. So that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And everything here is linked down below. See you guys. Take care.